I teach junior science, chemistry, and recently started teaching earth and space science. I was asked to design courses for year 12 and 13 earth and space students who cannot do biology, chemistry and physics, but still need science credits. The assessments that students were doing during these courses were more applied science. They learned about geological history of our area in White Oma Caves. They learned about deep sea hydrothermal vents. In year 12, students did some biology investigations and some chemistry investigations as well. For year 13, it was an absolutely fascinating assessment on lens attack. This is the frontier of science, where students were able to learn about innovation in science with the scientists in Auckland lab and pilot plant. Everyone who wants to participate in our science club meetings. We do lots of uh, experiments, but also we participate in different national and international projects. Uh, my students participated in the International Year of Crystallography. Uh, we came six out of 140 schools. They were very proud on themselves. We completed several projects with Kiwi Space Foundation, growing azuki beans and uh, looking how they grow here on Earth, and to compare them with the seeds that were grown on the International Space Station. We had a webinar with Russian cosmonaut Dmitry Kondratyev, and students via dual link with Moscow were able to communicate with the cosmonauts, asking questions and had immediate response. The result, I started with one year 12 and then one year 13 sciences. Now we have three year 12 and two year 13 earth and space science classes. I realized that students are natural investigators, natural scientists, and if from early childhood we can help them to develop the skills, that will be great for them. And who knows, maybe lots of them become scientists in the future.